255 here. What up? Today, 255 will be discussing with you an update on the Final Fantasy VII Integrade. The PlayStation 5 version of Final Fantasy VII Remake and all related updates are required to be played on Final Fantasy VII or Episode Intermission. You're eligible to receive a free PS5 digital version of Final Fantasy VII Remake if you either won on a PS4 digital version of the game or two on a PS4 disc version of the game and also on a PS5 console with a disc drive. You have to insert the disc each time you wish to download or play the PS5 digital version of the game. Please also remember that the PS version of Final Fantasy VII Remake available to PlayStation Plus members is not eligible for the PS5 digital version upgrade and some additional restrictions may apply. Now, Deep Minds, I need your help, right? Can someone explain to me why or how much Sony is playing Square Enix to keep Final Fantasy VII Remake off of all these other hardwares? The Nintendo Switch, whatever new consoles are coming out, the new Xbox, PC. I mean, just how many extra millions are they paying Square Enix to keep this game exclusive? I don't know. If you know in the comments, please let me know. Anyway, and Sony think they slick too. Like Deep Mind is going to go out here and buy a, a daggone $500, $600 console to play a, a DLC. An episode. It ain't like the Final Fantasy 14 episodes where it'd be an expansion. It's gonna probably be some five hour or three hour DLC. And I'm supposed to spend $500 to play that with a little bit of updated graphics. I'm gonna get out of my face. Anyway. Alright, now we're gonna talk about the characters for this new FF7 R episode intermission. And most of this information comes from a website called inverse.com integrate will bring improved textures lighting fog effects also a new graphics optimization mode with 4k resolution 60 frames performance optimization mode in addition to that integrate players can take advantage of a new classic difficulty option improved loading times and a new photo mode so Yuffie is back and she's the biggest addition to this. She was an optional character in the original Final Fantasy 7. Yuffie, just a little background, is a ninja, a materia thief who you randomly run into in the forest areas of the game. Her father, Gado, is the leader of the entire Wu Tai nation. And I never thought about this before, but that makes Yuffie a princess, right? In the original game, Materia is banned in Wutai, but she seeks to steal lots of it to restore glory to her homeland. However, in the remake, things are much more complicated and nuanced this time around. The next characters worth talking about belong to Avalanche's much larger network of terrorists that seem to be allies of Wutai and its ongoing war against Shinra. First is Yuffie's partner, Sonan Kuso Kabe is a member of Avalanche and a fellow ninja from Wutai who has this massive staff. He's said to be a slightly older, masculine character who's unlike any other character in the series. Intermission will also introduce new characters related to Wutai and Avalanche networks. In a April 2021 press conference with Square Enix, they released the following notes. Alongside Yuffie and Sonan, additional characters were introduced for FF7 Remake episode intermission, including Zinji, a Wu Tang who acts as the point of contact between the new Wu Tang government and Avalanche headquarters, members of Avalanche headquarters, Neo, Billy Bob, and Polk and Whis, the sadistic ruler of Shimra's top secret underground research center, Deep Ground. We get further information about them from Famitsu. 
Zeji is a blonde Wu Tang who exists as a connection between the Wu Tai government and main avalanche branch. He shows Yuffie around the Sector 7 slums. Nao is a bespeckled woman born in the slums who is a member of the main avalanche branch who operates as an intelligent officer of a sort. She's the one who receives the request for help from Wu Tai, devises a strategy, and prepares fake IDs for Yuffie and others. For the main avalanche branch, Billy Bob collects intel from people at bars around the Midgar slums. He is allegedly very good with alcohol and doesn't get drunk. The youngest member of Sector 7's avalanche branch, Polk, is treated like everyone's younger brother. He's also revving into a video game called Fort Condon. There was a lot of controversy with that Fort Condon stuff. People were saying that it wasn't going to be made into the original, but I didn't see anything suggesting that Fort Condor wasn't going to come back in all its glory. Just a lot of clickbait stuff. But if they don't, you don't call it Final Fantasy VII Remake. Because once you take parts out of the original, take as much time, add to it, embellish it, but don't take away. Because now you destroy the original game. Nothing's going to ever be like the original game, but they have an opportunity to make it better. But you're not going to do that by taking away original parts. Whis is restrained to a throne hidden deep beneath Migar and is only released when he is being experimented on, which sounds terrifying. He's both a lab rat, but also a ruler of the deep ground research facility. Whis is featured briefly at the end of the announcement trailer for Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrated, and it appears like he'll be featured as a secret boss in the Shinra Combat Simulator. Previously, he only appeared in Crisis Core and Dirge of Cerebus. The Deep Ground Network does include the underground test site from the base Final Fantasy VII Remake game where players can fight the Type Zero behemoth and early intermission footage show Yuffie and Sona fighting Deep Ground soldiers, so it's possible Beast might factor into the narrative as well. Uh, I think that overall, the Integrade is good. If you if you love the original Final Fantasy VII game and you love the original series, anything that adds more lore to the original game, not not that uh, padding that they put on Final Fantasy VII Remake, when we were chasing cats and that stupid ghost mission we had. Uh, prior to everything blowing up, I mean, after everything blew up, we set the seven sums or prior to, I can't remember right now. But that, that whole ghost intermission thing was just, we don't want nothing like that. But if you're going to build up more of what Shinra is and about the nations in the world of Final Fantasy VII, that's completely welcomed. 100% supported. I'm still waiting for that PC copy. I literally, speaking of not wanting to buy a PS5, I literally had to get a PS4 just to play the uh, Final Fantasy 7 remake. So I, and I beat it, recorded footage, and then I let it go. Um, but I'm hoping that it comes to PC and that when part two comes out, it's gonna probably be an exclusive, but we gotta wait for what we get. Anyway, this is DeepMon255.